Hey there, thank you all for joining me in this video. I appreciate your presence here and I will do my best to answer any questions you have regarding the person that you are not in contact with. Please bear in mind that I am intending to be brutally honest and what you discover might not be pleasant. Nevertheless, this is a collective reading so just trust your intuition for the right messages. And before we begin, I would like to extend my gratitude to all of you who are already subscribed to my channel. I am immensely grateful for your support and I love you all. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, feel free to join the club whenever you want. It's better to do it now because my channel is still relatively small and it might not appear in YouTube search bar. Don't miss out. You can always unsubscribe if you're not satisfied with my content. So let's proceed with the reading itself. Mm. I'm going to use my animal spirit cards in order to determine which groups or which piles. Yeah, which groups I think is better to say because you are not going to have a pile. You are just going to choose a card and then I'm going to use my deck. Boombat spirit. Wow. That should be interesting. Frog spirit. Old spirit. Should I make it four groups or three groups? Okay, let's make it four groups. And for the last group we have the hummingbird spirit. I'm not sure if they are all visible, but I will just move them like this. Okay. So, you can choose one of those cards that attracts you the most. I'm just going to give you a few seconds for you in order to focus or just guide your intuition towards the card that attracts you the most. And we are going to proceed with your reading. Hey there to those of you who chose the Wombat Spirit. Let's take a look what the Wombat Spirit wants to say to you. Be at home. Okay, with this message, I feel like the person on your mind, well, literally could be at home, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, maybe the person in your mind is just trying to pull themselves a little bit, maybe try to just spend more time alone maybe just they need some time to to reflect about your situation or maybe just they are they are they are in that time when they just don't want to be around anyone just want to spend time alone and enjoy themselves okay so for your reading i'm going to use my witch's tarot and let's proceed Let's see what this person that is on your mind, if you have no contact with them, what is going on with them and how they feel about you or in general what messages we are going to receive from my tarot deck. I feel like the cards are a bit jumpy. Ace of Wands. Oh, Four of Wands reversed. Three of Wands reversed, sorry for the camera shake. And the Justice card, I'm just going to take some clarifying information for this. Eight of Swords, okay. The Moon, the Emperor. Don't pay attention to the cards that are just coming out because, um, yeah, the story might be different first. I'm just going to take all the cards and then see how the situation is. But don't worry if you hear a card that's, for example, the moon <laughs> reversed. Don't worry that something bad is going to happen. Just let the overall reading flow. Okay. And finally, we have the Empress discard. <laughs> this card didn't want it to <laughs> come. My finger was a bit stuck on it. So <laughs> this Empress did not want to show herself. 
Okay, in the bottom of the deck we have Ten of Wands. So we are certain with the energy of the Ten of Wands, which a little bit... I'm just going to put the Wombat Spirit here, yes, to know that the Wombat Spirit is the main focus. Actually, I can use that Buddhist figure to <laughs> to put my hearts on, to my cards on, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we are starting with the Ten of Wands. Uh, the Ten of Wands really reminds me of that energy of the Wombat Spirit. Someone who is just uh, pulling themselves back, wanting to be at home, just to just to be on their own. And with the Ten of Wands here, Ten of Wands actually wants to say that the general energy of this person is a bit tiredness. This person is really tired. They have been carrying a lot of burden, a lot of heavy weight on their backs. And they just want to move somewhere where they feel safe. They are heading towards that castle. I am not sure if that's their home, but yeah, probably this is the place where they are bringing all that uh, heavy weight. So even if it's not home, they are moving towards some place where they just want to get rid of all the heavy energies or all the heavy things that they have been carrying because they are they feel really exhausted. That's what I'm feeling as a general energy. But let's proceed with the reading itself. We have the Eight of Swords climbing from Eight of Swords to Ace of Wands. Well, this is a good news because this person has been really confused. They have been feeling confused, stuck, not aware of what is going on around them because you can see that the girl on the picture is completely tied up. There are swords around her, her eyes are blind, blinded. So she, cannot, she can't move and she can't see. And this is how this person felt. They, they have felt a bit like yeah, like I described, maybe not as strong as I described it here with this illustration of the card. But still, somehow, they they were in that similar energy where they were feeling stuck, not aware of, of what move they should do. And the good news is that they are moving from this energy to Ace of Wands. With the Ace of Wands, this says that somehow they are managing to set themselves free and take an action, move around just just take some kind of initiative and start something not stay in position where you are just feeling stuck like like you can't do absolutely anything here we see that they are climbing to that energy of ace of wands and they are taking some kind of initiative they are starting to gain control of their life so moving on forward with the cards that we have here we are climbing from the Moon card to the Four of Wands reversed, and both cards actually are reversed. So, with the Moon reversed, maybe this person is still stuck in their own illusion. Maybe they have seen that situation with you in a specific way and they were not able to see it the way you were seeing it. They were like in some kind of a really big confusion. They misunderstood something, that's what I'm feeling. They misunderstood maybe some signal or maybe some kind of conversation. You said something, but they took it in a different way. Or maybe there was some kind of a situation if you have met like in a social media or something, in a, something like that, let's say. You maybe did not... Um, they could not show your true personalities or your true selves in front of each other and left each other with a different impression. So that's what I'm feeling with the moon card because the moon card reversed, it could indicate some kind of clarity. Yes, there is a possibility, but with the card that's coming on top of it, I don't think that's the case because... In this position, the moon reversed, it feels, it feels like uh, this person is not actually realizing something. There is some kind of wrong idea that this person perceived. And st st still, because the moon is reversed, it says that this person keeps believing in that idea. And 
This doesn't lead to something good actually. This leads to the Four of Wands reversed, which indicates that the energy of stability, the energy of stability is kind of blocked. So they feel unstable. Okay, moving forward with the cards. I'm sorry to those of you who, yeah, probably you are not happy with what you're hearing, but indeed I don't see that person in a very good place, at least until the moment what we saw. But this person is in really some kind of a tired energy, like, I feel like they, they're, it's like their, their entire life is feeling really unstable because all the cards that came out have that kind of an energy, at least the ones that I have analyzed until now. So with the four of wands reversed, this person is really feeling unstable. Like there could be some kind of stability. They could achieve something. They could have like, well, actually, this has something to do with you. The instability comes in the connection with you because, mm, let's say, this person is like, uh, well, they are, they are a bit like, they know that they can have, they can have the complete stability if we turn these cards like this. Let's say they perceive the right idea, they see the light of the moon and they realize that they, 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 they don't feel scared in the darkness anymore, figuratively said. So they see the right idea, they see the things your way, they believe you. From that point, it could climb to the four of wands where everything is perfect. You are happy, you are building happy, stable life together and things would be good would be amazing you would be really happy and stable but because this person understood something wrong misunderstood something got the wrong idea this did not happen that's what the uh, reverse cards wanted to indicate so let's move on with the other cards because i feel like i spent a long time here analyzing those and maybe this reading will be a bit longer then those of the other groups, <laughs> you have something to brag about. Okay, so then we are moving from the Emperor to the Three of Cups reversed. With the Emperor card, I feel like this person feels confident about something. But confident about something, it, there could be several options here actually. Either this person feels here confident that there is some kind of deceit, there is some kind of another person involved in this story. Or the other option is, this person is, uh, mm, this person is somehow involved with a third person or some kind of a situation like this. One of the two versions is, is there for all of you who chose this group or at least for most of you because you were drawn by intuition to this spouse. So I hope the messages are more or less resonating with you at least until now. So moving on forward, we have the Empress card, which, which was hard to, <laughs> hard to pull and the Justice card. Mm. In these situations, I feel like whatever was here, all the confusions, all the instability, all the misunderstanding or just the wrong ideas, the wrong perceptions, I feel like this doesn't matter because they are tapping into completely different energy. With the Empress card, I feel like they start to see what is good for them, what would be the perfect idea for them and the Empress card could also represent you if you are a lady and you are watching this video because the Empress card could indicate the Divine Feminine. Actually, it doesn't matter of the gender. Sometimes, uh, you know, there is uh, some people have higher uh, feminine energy, other people have higher masculine energy, but we both have both energies in us. So, in, in short, 
this card could indicate you as well. It doesn't matter of your gender. And with the justice card, it says that something will happen in a just way. Something will be just right. The universe is supporting this and the truth is going to come out. So whatever the confusion here is, whatever the unclarity here was, it's going to become clear to this person. This person is going to see through the, the wrong perceptions, the wrong idea that they come up with. And they are going to do the right thing with the justice card. The justice will be on the side of the divine feminine. So those of you who has mm, stronger feminine energy, well, of course, we cannot, <laughs> we cannot see that. We, we, we don't always know. But mm, the justice will be on that side. Okay, so to spice it up a bit, I'm going to use my oracle cards in order to try to get into a conversation with that person. Let's see if you were in conversation, what would you say? Oh, what, I mean, what they would say. <laughs> Let's see what they would say to you. If they could talk to you, if they had a chance to be honest with you. Seek professional advice. Oh my God. <laughs> so here there are some kind of really intense energies. I'm sorry for... <laughs> I'm trying to not make it like sound negative, but it's just I... That's the intuition that is guiding me towards that uh, scenario that I saw with the cards. So that's why I feel like there are some intense energies here and seek professional advice. This person says seek professional advice, maybe regarding that uh, situation that they got wrong with the moon card. The moon card also could represent some kind of fear that they are having maybe towards this instability. But still, they are saying seek professional advice. Let's see what else this person would say to you. Maybe the misunderstanding was so big that this person has some kind of assumptions about you. They, they are having such a trouble to believe in that, in that version of yours. And then they are saying to you, if I ask you to stay, would you leave? So, I'm just going to move this one here as well to have them all together. If I ask you to stay, would you leave? Mm. Well, whatever the case is with this person, I feel like deep down they really want to have some kind of clarity with you. They really want to believe in what you present in, what, in, in your side. But still, even though they want to, they, they kind of are really adamant about their side. They don't want to change of opinion. They, I feel like they are very strongly opinionated. And they just, once they made up their mind about something, that's it. It, it cannot change for them. They are, they are, once they made up their mind, they, they take it as a law, like something that cannot be different. <laughs> Okay, let's take one more card. I need more balance. That's what this person says. And with the balance, exactly it goes here where the four of wands are. Because here we see that this person really feels unbalanced. Okay, let's take one more card. I'm ready. Okay. It actually came really interesting because the I'm ready part comes here when we have the Empress and the Justice card. So here it starts pretty bad. <laughs> I've already told you the whole story. So here it starts pretty bad and um, it slowly gets a bit better. And here they say that they need more balance. Actually, they are honest with you that their life feels a bit unbalanced at the moment and they just need a bit more balance. And 
on the final part, actually, they are seeing the things in a different way. The justice helps, the universe helps for them to realize something, and they say to you that they are ready. So, if you have this as energy, I feel like this is more or less how the things are going to work out. But, you know, when the tarot things are just energy, it's not like, um, I cannot tell you, like, next week uh, this is going to happen. This is how the things are going to happen, but in the 5D reality, time doesn't exist. There is just energies, and if their thing is like that, then here in our planet, in our world, in our dimension, things will be like that also, but it will, it will just work out like this throughout the time. Because here we have the time that for us it might just flow differently than for other <laughs> higher than us uh, dimensions. So, this was your reading group number one. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe for my channel so you can see more videos like this one. And also, I would really like it if you just place a comment and tell me how you felt about this reading. I really love to read your comments. So, that was it for now. I hope to see you again. Bye! Hey there, for all of you who chose the Frog Spirit, group number two. With the Frog Spirit, as a card that you chose yourself, you were drawn by intuition. The Frog Spirit says, clear out the clutter. So... The reason why you chose this card is because the person on your mind is indeed clearing out some kind of mess in their life. They are trying to organize things and they are trying to clear out all the messy situations that they might have created. So at least this is a good sign. Let's take a look with my tarot deck. I'm using the Witch's Tarot. Let's take a look in my tarot deck and see what messages we are going to receive about this person. We are going to see all the important messages. Whoops, cards. Went. Okay, they just wanted to come out. We have the Knight of Wands reversed and the World card. I feel like there is a lot going on with this person that is on your mind because the cards are pretty lively. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, let's clarify, Three of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles energy, Four of Cups, okay, Seven of Cups, this card I'm going to place it somewhere here. Okay, that's good, because it just wanted to come out and I was planning to take only four, four for each uh, for each row, but since this card felt like coming, I'm just going to place, place one extra card, so you're a bit different than the other groups. <laughs> In the end of the deck, we have the Emperor card reversed. Okay, so... The general energy of this reading, the general energy that came out with the person that was on your mind and with whom you are not in contact anymore. Uh, this general energy is of the Emperor, but unfortunately the Emperor is reversed. So, with the reversed Emperor, my feeling is that this person is, um, is not confident enough. They are lacking strength, they are lacking confidence, at least at the moment. Maybe something happened in their life and shook them a bit and that's why they lost confidence a bit in themselves. So this is the general energy of the person that you are asking about with whom you are not in contact. Moving on forward with the cards that just came out. We have the Tree of Pentacles climbing towards the Knight of Wands reversed. With the Tree of Pentacles, they are trying to... They are trying to find some kind of help from someone. They might be consulting with friends, they might be consulting with therapists also, that could be the case. They are trying to find some help in order to make things going again. 
Also, this could be related with some foreign countries. There is a chance that the person that is on your mind is in some kind of a foreign country or in some kind of a distance between you two. Or if it's not physical distance, then there might be something blocking this connection. There might be people between you or something that is blocking that connection. That's what I'm feeling. So this person is trying to find some kind of consultation, trying to get some advices in order to get things moving again, in order to try to cross over some kind of border. So, I feel like um, I feel like they are trying to make things better. But with the four of cups, with the four of cups upright, climbing towards the world card reversed, indeed this person doesn't see something. They are like, there is something good. There is some kind of opportunity coming for them. There is. Well, that creature, that uh, mysterious creature, the mermaid there, but they are not seeing it. They are just drawn in their own, uh, in their own like uh, depression, a little bit like depression. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm feeling. They might be a little bit like depressed that something is not going on. They don't feel confident. So they are so much drawn into this that they do not see the opportunity that is over there. So... And with the world card reversed, since they, they cannot see something that is there, since they are like in that apathic state, they just cannot cross that border between you two. They cannot come and just be with you. There is some kind of blockage that they just cannot overcome. So... Moving with the next card, we have the Seven of Cups and... No, actually, we have the Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. I was going to say Seven of uh, Pentacles first. <laughs> so, uh, with these cards, we have two times seven. Seven might be significant for them or for you. It might be something related, birth date, or... In general, it might be a significant number for, for you. Maybe you met on the seventh number of the date. But seven is an important number. That's what I'm feeling. So with the seven of cups, climbing towards the seven of pentacles, I feel like this person has a lot of choices in their life. Because with the seven of cups, we always talk about choices, good choices or bad choices. The importance is that they have choices to make in their life. And these choices are regarding something new, something that is still early to come to life. It's still not time for it, but they are patiently growing it. And with these cards combined, I feel like the person on your mind, this is might not be exactly related with, with you and that person. It might be related more towards the person that they are, they are growing something in their career or in their business or Whatever they are doing in their life, they are, they are nurturing something. And regarding that thing, they will have to make a lot of choices that might lead them to the path of treasure or lead them towards some kind of a lizard or <laughs> whatever the case is. Well, I don't think there is a lizard literally <laughs> in their life that they are going to lead themselves towards. But just figuratively said re regarding the illustrations of the cards. So I feel like the person on your mind is going to make a lot of choices regarding their work or their business or whatever the case is with them. So moving on forward with the cards that just came out. Here we have three cards, not two like usual. Mm. We have three of wands and two of pentacles and ace of cups. That's actually really interesting because we are having... One, two, three. Okay, so with the Three of Wands, I'm going to start first with the Three of Wands. With the Three of Wands climbing towards Two of Pentacles, I feel like the person on your mind is um, 
about to launch something, about to come up with some kind of idea in order to get stability in their life. In order to get to a position where they feel more stable and they it might have to do something with their material world. It might be something regarding their work or whatever the case is, this person is moving towards stability and this stability is more or less regarding their work uh, environment, their work uh, sphere where they are they are um, yeah succeeding so but don't leave yet because it's not only work related because here on the side i told you that this card just wanted to come and i just pulled it and here we have the good news the ace of cups not only towards professional but they are about they are thinking about their love life as well how to put balance so Maybe they might come up with something because we have the Ace card. Ace card usually indicates some kind of a new beginning. So maybe they will come up with some kind of an idea for a new beginning with you. If you already have story with this person, maybe they will want to present something or come up with some kind of idea in order to start over with you. Maybe they will come back and present you something that you can start over and yeah they're they're looking for both material balance and they want to start over with you that's what i'm feeling so at least in the end we have a happy end <laughs> let's take some oracle messages and and see let's take some oracle messages and see what this person would like to say to you if they could talk if they could be honest with you. I just think things were different. So indeed something between you went wrong. Something between you went wrong and they just wish things were different. They don't wish things, I mean, they don't wish that things had gone so wrong with you. So they want to change something. They want to fix something. That's what I'm feeling which we see also here with the last part i need more balance okay <laughs> we also see that here with the last part because with the two of pentacles and with the three of wands under it they are trying to come up with something in order to get more balance because they are not feeling that much balanced at the moment with those cards here and with the Emperor reversed. So they are definitely looking for more balance in their life. Maybe once they achieve that balance, that will be the time when they will actually come to you and present you something, present you a new beginning, a new start. Reach out. Okay, this person says to you reach out, but I wouldn't advise you to do that, especially if this person is your twin flame. Or actually, we don't have an exclamation mark or or another any other mark. So maybe they are not saying reach out to you. Maybe they are saying that they are about to reach out. That also could be the option. Actually, I'm more inclined to believe to that option. They are not saying to you reach out. They are themselves uh, letting you know that soon there will be a reach out. Once they find the balance, they are going to reach out to you. Okay, let's take one last look. <laughs> you are... No, I don't think this is the case because a lot of cards just fell. So maybe... Or maybe actually, I'm just going to leave it just in case, because maybe I, I just feel it like maybe you just, you were thinking right now, like, yeah, they are going to reach out. I don't expect anything from them, this person, like you are thinking that this person has completely given up on you, but this card just came out and it says that, no, you are wrong. If that's the case, if you don't believe in 
in that that this person actually wants to make something right. This card wants to say that you are wrong. And actually, shall I take one more or that would be enough? Okay, let's take one more. Actually, with this group, I take one extra card <laughs> on every oracle cards and tarot cards that I used. Okay, the last card, they say I'm sorry. So indeed, whatever happened between you two in the past, they are saying I'm sorry. And I really feel like they want to make something right. Also, we see that with the frog spirit, clear, the, clear out the clutter. They want to clear out all the mess that they have created or all the mess that was between you two, or in general, they want to clear out all the mess in their life. So, in the end, things worked out good. At least they are about to work out good, because here we see that energy. So, thank you for being with me for this reading, and if you enjoyed it, please don't hesitate to subscribe for my channel, so you can see more readings like this one and many other types of readings, because I'm intending to do all kinds of readings for all kind of life situations that all of us end up and see yeah, if you liked it please don't hesitate to subscribe and um, share in the comment section how you feel about it how does it resonate with you because i love reading your comments and just getting some feedback is always useful for me so thank you very much for being with me and i hope to see you again bye Hello there, group number three, for all of you who chose the old spirit. Let's take a look what the old spirit is going to say to you. So the old spirit says, you see clearly now. So you were drawn to this card because something regarding this person, you are going to see clearly for what it is. Maybe before you were in confusion, you were having some kind of wrong illusion and you were drawn to this card because you are about to see something clearly about this person. It might be something that you might see during the reading, or in general the reading itself might indicate towards something that you are about to see regarding this person that will make you see things clearly. I'm just going to put the old spirit here and start with your tarot cards. Let's take a look. Let's see what this person feels or what are they going through how they feel about this connection if you're not in contact anymore how things are going to work out between you two if you are not in contact five of swords the star card seven of swords Knight of Pentacles. I'm just going to take some clarifying cards. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. The Hermit. The Moon. Wow. We have a lot of major arcana here and not only that, I, I just get a lot of mixed feelings, a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of mis mixed uh, sensations. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups reversed. Okay, this is actually good news because when the Five of Cups are reversed, actually it has exactly the same message as the Old Spirit. When the Five of Cups are are upwards you see something from a negative point of view you are missing out something you don't see that those two cups exist there and when this card is reversed it means exactly the opposite which is the good news for you that you are actually seeing the good things in this you are seeing something clearly which the old spirit indicated as well so this is the general energy of your of your reading because you are about to see something clearly now. Let's start and see what we are going to see clearly about this connection. With the Ten of Pentacles climbing towards the Five of Swords, I feel like this person, deep down they wanted to have some kind of uh, 
material richness. They wanted to build up that stable family life. And deep down they want this, but they feel like in order to achieve this, yes, they can do that. They can achieve it. Maybe they can do that with you. They can achieve that, that uh, materially blessed, abundant family life with you. But with the sort of five of swords, they feel like they can achieve it, but it's going to be a bit difficult. I feel like they see that connection a bit difficult, not an easy one. They feel like, yes, it can work out, but it's going to take efforts because we have the five of swords. And you can indeed see that here the dragonfly feels like, yeah, it, it has all those swords holding, but still it's a bit heavy on it. Moving forward with your cards, we have the Queen of Swords and the Star card. Starting off with a little bit of logic, they are trying to see the things in a logical way. That's what I'm feeling. The Queen of Swords, it could also represent a air sign female or just air sign person. But with the Queen of Swords, what I'm feeling as an energy is that they are trying to see something clearly. They are trying to... Either there are two options that are actually coming into my mind. One of the options is, which it makes a bit more sense with the combination of the cards like this. I feel like instead of seeing something with logic, instead of seeing something objectively regarding your situation, they saw it in a, a bit more uh, glamorous way, a bit more, well, because the, si the star here is, uh, is shining so bright that it can confuse, it's like it can just take your focus away. And maybe they were like blinded. They, they just did not see something between you two in, in an objective way. They saw it in a way that was different different than the truth. They just missed out the truth. Another option is, which I think might be a little bit less possible, but also possible. Maybe they, before they were not seeing something the way it was. Maybe before they were blind, but now they are starting to see it clearly. One of the two is the option for you, I feel like. Moving on forward with your cards. Mm. With the Hermit card, this person is pulled back. They pull themselves back and they try to analyze the situation. They try to find that inner knowledge and maybe they are like uh, seeing all the things that happened between you two on a movie, on a movie scroll and Maybe they are just reminding themselves about all the things that happened and trying to analyze every situation and see what was the right thing that happened. So either they are doing that, they are pulled back, they are not like not participating in life, I feel. They are not trying to not going out much, maybe staying more home and just a bit trying to work on themselves, trying to heal their inner world, trying to hear that inner voice that they have so i feel like they might be a bit pulled back and maybe no actually not maybe that's for most of you the option they they realize about some kind of um, trickery yeah that could be also be the case they see some kind of trickery they see some kind of deceit or some kind of illusion mm. and so with the hermit card and with the seven of swords what it leads to me is if we start from the seven of swords towards the hermit card mm. well indeed it it indicates that they are seeing some kind of uh, treachery trickery or whatever the case is after they just re-roll the movie and see all the things that happened between you two. So either they believe that you were trying to 
like steal something from them still not literally steal but like use some kind of trick on them and trick them into something blind them or another option also that just came to me it could be that they themselves yeah that also could be an option they themselves were trying to trick you here with the star card they themselves were trying to trick you and just like you can see in this man's expression that they are cheeky they are trying they were trying to trick you into something they were trying to give you some kind of a wrong impression and deceive you and now that they have achieved that they are going more in a hermit mode they are moving more in a hermit mode like they are pulling themselves back and closing themselves not appearing hiding this could be the case also I think those two are the versions for most of the people who are drawn to the old spirit and this is the thing that you are supposed to realize. Moving on forward with the cards, we have the Moon and the Knight of Pentacles. In this combination, with the Moon card and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is um, still quite confused. They still don't see something. They still um, have fears. Actually, actually, that's the message. That's the message. They have fears. They don't dare to make quick steps. They, they don't dare to... With the Knight of Pentacles, actually, this is the slowest night. With the Knight of Pentacles, they don't dare to make quick steps. Even if they come close to you, they are going to come with very careful small steps and try to just they, they are scared to come close to you that's what i'm feeling that's the general message whatever happened between you two i feel like there is some kind of case of cheat of deceit or just some kind of case of misunderstanding in the, in the mildest case and because of that this person pulled themselves back they pull themselves back and now they are scared to approach you. Okay, so I don't know if it resonates with you, but that's just how I felt intuitively those messages. And indeed, with the star card, indeed there was some kind of confusion. Indeed, there was some kind of... Um, or maybe they were blinded by something or... They were deceived by another person. They were seduced, maybe, because you can see how sensual this card is. That also could be the case. They might be seduced by someone. And then they, they, they realize that they made a treachery and they just pull themselves back. And then they are scared to show themselves to you. That also could be the case. But this is a collective reading, so just take messages that are resonating with your situation and your intuition guides you towards if the if your intuition has drawn you to this reading then definitely here there is something that you need to see and the old spirit says to you that you see clearly now so i feel like we saw a lot in this reading i'm just going to turn them this way let's take some oracle cards and see what this person would like to say to you if they could talk to you right now and be honest what would they say to you if they were honest with you do you think about me too okay they are still curious if you are still interested in them because maybe even though there was some kind of deceit some kind of trickery i cannot say what it was because i can't see it it's just the indication of the cards that there was something there so after this is over they are a bit scared and they are asking you do you think about me too so this is one of the small steps that they would do towards you they would first ask like some kind of a small questions like this do you think about me too like just to get confirmation if you are still into them I still don't have all the answers. Mm. Well, whatever the case is, they are saying to you that they don't have the answers. So 
He benefits about that situation that played out between you two, or in general, if it's about your connection. They are still trying to find the answers. They are still looking for those answers. Let's take some more cards. These cards are a bit jumpy. I am terrified. <laughs> That's what I told you with the moon card. It corresponds so, so good with the moon card. They are really scared to come close to you. I don't know what is the reason. What have you done to that person? I'm just going to pull them so you can see the cards. Especially the word terrified because it's an important word. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling that this person is feeling at the moment regarding approaching you. They are scared of you for some reason. They did something and they are scared to show themselves to you. They are ashamed maybe. And the last oracle card will be, oh, they are saying sex. <laughs> okay, so I feel like whatever the case is, there is a sexual energy in this group and they are sexually attracted to you. There is no doubt about it. And the existence of the star card, I mean, the star card in this tarot, I find it really sensual. So there is some kind of sexual attraction between you two, I feel like. And I feel like they are really attracted to you, but still they are terrified to come close to you because of something that happened between you two that it just went wrong. So these were your messages, group number three, for all of you who chose the All Spirit. I hope I have managed to give you some kind of clarity about your situation with that person that you are not contacting anymore. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and subscribe for my channel so you can see more videos like this one. And also, I would really love to, to see your comments and just, just, just to get some feedback from you, which would help me immensely to improve in my tarot readings and in general in order to grow my channel, to know what to do better. So thank you very much for being with me. It was a pleasure for me to give you this reading and I hope it had helped you. And I hope to see you again. Bye. Hey there to those of you who chose the hummingbird spirit. The hummingbird wants to say to you, be here now. So this either indicates to you that you should be present about this situation. You should try to be main, uh, mindful and be present about the situation. Or it might literally say to you by the spirit that you should be here on this reading. Here you are going to see something that might, might be really relevant about your connection with that person. Or you might see some kind of message that you really need to know that also could be the case because the card literally says be here now. So maybe it just wants to indicate that yes, you chose the right pile, just be here and see something that you really need to see. So let's not waste any time and see what are the things that you need to see about this connection. Let's take a look. I'm using my richest tarot. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Page of Wands reversed. Lots of reversed cards coming. <laughs> Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, there are a lot of blocked energies here. I'm trying to like move the deck so there is not so many reverse cards, but everything comes reversed. Again, <laughs> Knight of Swords reversed. Wow, this is really a unique reading, only with reverse cards. And the Chariot, guess what, reversed. Here, this reading is full of blockages. It says be here now, but all the cards that came out are just reversed. Nine of Pentacles. 
Ten of Pentacles reversed. I've never done reading like this one, so you are privileged. This is something I do for the first time. And one card that is not reversed, just one card, Ten of Cups. And it's the best card. On the bottom of the deck, of course, the Empress reversed. <laughs> Okay, so this really is a unique reading card. For the first time, I'm doing reading like this one where all the cards are reversed. So, with the Empress reversed, let's see. Just going to move it a bit. So, with the Empress card reversed, I feel like something, the general perception of this connection was wrong. I mean, the Empress holds a lot of a lot of secrets. She has the key to rooms that no one has ever seen. And with the Empress card reversed, I feel like it's something is just wrong. Something just really went wrong in this relationship because on deeper spiritual level, maybe you had some kind of a different soul contract with that person. But something happened between you two that maybe on a deeper level messed up the things than you realize. Because the Hammondberg spirit says be here now because there is something you need to hear. And you can see that this is a really unique composition of cards that came out. Because I've never in my <laughs> tarot reading history had so many reverse cards one after another. And I tried to shuffle the deck a bit to have like 50-50 reversed and, uh, and uh, upright cards. But somehow all of them came reversed. <laughs> Only one came upwards. But here there is some kind of even blocked intuition. Maybe you have some kind of intuition block maybe you are you were not listening to your intuition and things just went wrong because maybe you felt something about that person something that maybe was not right or something was going the wrong way you felt it on intuitive level but you kind of cheated on your intuition you did not listen to your intuition and that's why things went wrong so Let's start this reversed reading. We have the Chariot reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel like with the Chariot reversed, here there was some kind of blocked movement. Maybe they wanted to do something. Maybe you met online. Maybe you met online. You were just chatting. You've never seen each other live. You didn't have that much contact. And they wanted to meet you, but this was somehow blocked. Somehow something went wrong and you actually never met. And this is for some of you. <laughs> yeah, the, the situation will be different. I will just give another version as well. But I'm just saying for those of you that are resonating with the situation, what could be with this option. So either you are about to meet for the first time while you were online corresponding with each other. But something went wrong and this just led to a complete negative change in your relationship, complete negative turn because with the Wheel of Fortune we have change, definite change of events. Like here you can see the seasons are changing so definitely something is changing but since it is reversed it's not changing towards, it's not changing in a good way, it's changing in some kind of a bad way. So that's one of the cases. Another case for those of you who are <laughs> are having more or less interaction with the person that you that you are thinking about, you have some kind of more deeper history. Uh, I feel like with the chariot card reversed, mm, again we are talking about some kind of blocked movement. Maybe they wanted to do something with you. Maybe they wanted to just take the next step with you. Maybe you were having a relationship and they wanted to take the next step, to take your relationship to the next level, to the next logical level. But they failed. They just, something blocked them. They couldn't do that. And this unleashed a whole turn of negative events that went through, went on and messed up all the situation for you too. And messed up maybe your soul contract or just intuitively on a deeper level messed up something in the connection between you two. 
So, moving on with the cards that come after this, situa this situation here. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And on top we have the Page of Wands reversed. Mm. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, I feel like here we are talking about some kind of isolation or just lack of courage, lack of uh, independence. Because with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, they could be influenced by other people. Maybe some other people were trying to influence that person that is on your mind and they were not strong enough to resist what other people were saying or putting their influence on them. And yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, I feel like they could not fight for their independence. They were not uh, moving with their own belief. They just adopted the idea of someone else. Someone else told them something and they just believed them. And they, they were somehow convinced by other people. That's what I'm feeling. And climbing towards the page of wands, I feel like they just took the wrong, wrong step. They were badly advised, badly influenced. And they just listened to that bad advice or that bad influence in their life, that bad energy that they received. And they just took the wrong step, took the wrong step with you and things went bad. Things just went back, bad, sorry. And moving on towards the third uh, column of the cards that we have here. Ten of Pentacles reversed and Ace of Swords reversed. Since they took the wrong step, since they were influenced badly by other people or they were just not brave enough to step into what they believe in. Mm, I feel like they just blocked their chance of abundance and of a new start with you. Things just, everything got postponed or just went wrong. Again, here I feel like maybe some of you never even actually met. It was only online chat. And this first start, this first impression, this first meeting, it just never happened. And all the potential that you had, all the potential just went away. For those of you that are already having more history with that person, here I feel like I definitely feel the presence of these two types. For some of you, it's something that never actually like had that much of a history, but still it was really strong. For others, I feel like it's something that had some kind of history, but things just went wrong. And here, as we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Cups, what I feel from this situation is that it's just they, instead of uh, making things uh, like flow between you two, for those of you that have history, Instead of making things flow smoothly for you, like just letting your love, your love to develop, to grow. Instead of doing that, they just got badly influenced and chose the wrong move. And then your love just flowed down and all the potential that you had together is just gone. Because the Ten of Pentacles are reversed. And moving towards the last cards, I'm sorry if it's a bit more negative, but it's just there is nothing I can do with this composition of the cards. But even if it's negative, then the hummingbird spirit says that you should be here now and see this because it might be eye-opening for you. So let's see what are the last cards. Mm, Ten of Swords Upright and the Knight of Swords. With the Ten of Cups Upright, definitely there is some kind of potential between you two for that happy, complete, in alignment couple where everything is in alignment between you two. There is a potential there. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, I feel like here we are talking about lack of determination. 
because the other side just doesn't have that determination to come to come towards you anymore. Mm, I feel like whatever happened between you two, the other side just lacks the courage and determination in order to approach you because they feel like they can make things right for with you. They can make everything fit perfectly together. They feel that, but even though because of other, other things, they just don't dare to do that anymore because Knight of Pentacles is usually the knight that just moves. He is one of the quickest knights and he moves really quickly. Actually, he is the quickest knight. He moves quickly and with determination, without thinking too much about it, without like having thoughts hours and hours and then move. No, they are just determined and they just move. But when this knight is turned in a reverse position and it's above the Ten of Cups, I feel like even though they see that there is really huge potential between you two, they just lack that determination just to come and reach you. That's what I'm feeling, which, yeah, it's not actually good energy. It, it makes me a bit angry at them because even though they see this potential, they are just not, not moving towards you. And I don't know what's the reason about this, but maybe we will see something from the Oracle cards. Let's, let's see what the Oracle cards are about to say here in this situation. This, this two wants to come out. Okay, so they are saying to you, sometimes I wonder if you care and I'm sorry. So whatever happened between you two, they definitely feel sorry that things went the wrong way. And they are not sure about if you still care about them anymore because they just wonder if you still care. Let's take some more. You make my heart full. Mm. Yeah, this has something to do with the Ten of Cups. They definitely see the potential, but why they are not moving? Actually, I'm, I'm not going to leave you like this. I'm just going to take some cards. Yeah, I think let's hope something that is not reversed will give the right information. Why are they not determined to come to come towards you? The card jumped its, itself. Queen of Swords. Uh, on the bottom we have Nine of Wands. Putting boundaries. They are putting boundaries either because there is another woman involved in this situation, if that's the case. I mean, it doesn't have to be a woman, but it's likely to be a woman because it's a queen. It could be also a man if that's your situation. Either because there is another person involved in this, in this connection. Uh, and they are putting the boundaries, even though they see the potential, they see that there is a huge potential for things to be like perfect match, perfectly work out between you two, but they are putting the boundaries because either there is another person in their life, that's why they lack determination to come towards you, or they are not being able to to just see things clearly. They are not able to clear up their minds because, and the candle just went out. This also is a sign that they are just like stuck. They, they, are, they are not able to move towards you. I'm sorry for saying this, but there is some kind of blockage that is stopping them and they themselves put boundaries. They don't, um, they just, they won't allow you close either. It's not only that they won't approach you, but they won't allow you close. They are just fighting this. They are putting boundaries. Either because they are not able to see the situation with clear mind or because there is another person. That's why they are not, they are not, they don't dare to come to you. Okay, let's take one last card. I want to get you drunk. Okay, whatever the case is, this person, I feel like they enjoy your company and they would 
really like to see you when your defenses go low and to see the real you and just to have some 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 fun with you just to enjoy themselves when they can let down their guards and you can let down your guards and just just take things easy and have fun but like we saw those heavy energies here uh, I don't think that could be possible although they wanted they wanted to be that way okay for all of you who chose the hummingbird spirit I really want to apologize for the cards that came out I I, I'm sorry if this resonates with you because it's not, it's really not that positive. But, um, well, I wish I could give you some more hope, but yeah, it's just how the cards came out. And maybe what you were supposed to see was exactly this. And maybe you should just move on. But it's a personal choice. I mean, I, I'm not going to say to you, I'm not going to advise you anything. It's your personal choice. It's your situation. This is just general energy that might give you some clarity. Just keep that in mind. And maybe not all of it is resonating with you. Maybe just some messages were important for you. That also could be the case. So if you enjoyed this video, if it was an eye opener for you, please don't hesitate to subscribe for my channel in order to see more videos like this one that might help you in the future as well. And yeah, I, I, I would be really curious to see your comments because this pile, the energy was quite definite, something was in general blocked. So I'm really curious to see what's the case with you or maybe it didn't resonate with your situation. I'm not sure. I mean, I just need to see your comments in order to tell. So. Thank you very much for being with me. It was my pleasure to do this reading for you. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again. Bye.